So, you want to become a web designer. Cool. But are you ready to put in the work it takes to become one? Because it does indeed take a lot of work. I'm not going to sugarcoat things for you. In my research for this video, something became abundantly clear to me. There is a lot of misinformation about what skills you need to have in order to design websites. Most of this information included things like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Come on guys, this isn't 2002. You don't need to know any of that stuff to build great websites, or even to build your very own web design business. There are, however, some really important skills that you must know. Crucial skills that I believe are not discussed enough. Some of these may even be surprising to hear, but hey, that's why I'm here. These are the most important 10 web design skills to develop. Let's start with the rock solid foundation of a web designer people want to work with. When most people think about developing the proper skills to become a web designer, they naturally think of the techie stuff, user experience, SEO, speed optimization, content marketing, etc. But they're looking at things backwards. Regardless of whether you simply want to land a web design job or start your own web design business, I highly recommend the latter, developing the following skills will make you more desirable to work with and infinitely more productive. It just might even make you a happier person. Number one, perseverance. Whether you're job hunting or business building, developing the necessary skills to improve yourself as a web designer is most definitely a long-term game. Perhaps it's those dang millennials or the instant gratification loops we constantly receive from social media, but it sure seems like people expect results far too quickly these days. We've become so accustomed to getting what we want when we want it. Hungry? Push a button on your phone and get food personally delivered to your door in under 30 minutes. Bored? Binge an entire season of TV in one night. Want a new book to read tonight? One click order it from Amazon and have it arrive by dinner time. Want to become a web designer? Slowly and methodically develop the necessary skills through consistent personal and professional development and achieve satisfying results in a few years. Uh. Maybe I'll just head back to Netflix. There's no way around it. Time plus effort equals results. Persevere. Two, time management. You already know this one. We are in a new era, the attention economy. Everyone and everything is constantly vying for your eyeballs. More eyeballs equals more ads, more subscribers, more money in their pockets. Cable TV, Sports, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, HBO, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, PlayStation, Xbox, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Radio, Billboards. I could go on and on. And that's just the entertainment options. Never mind the things that actually matter in life. Like family, friends, spirituality, education, diet, exercise, personal growth. Looking at those two lists, you could easily say there's no time left to do anything else. But it all comes down to this principle. You have to take time to make time. If you want more time to develop your web design skills, you need to take that time from another activity. Might I suggest Netflix? Three, empathetic communication. For this one, I'm going to use a wonderful little illustration from Stephen R. Covey's The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Suppose you've been having trouble with your eyes, and you decide to go to an optometrist for help. After briefly listening to your complaint, he takes off his glasses and hands them to you. Put this on, he says. I've worn this pair of glasses for 10 years now, and they've really helped me. I have an extra pair at home. You can wear these. So you put them on, but it only makes the problem worse. This is terrible, you exclaim. I can't see a thing. Well, what's wrong, he asks. They work great for me. Try harder. I am trying, you insist. Everything is a blur. Well, what's the matter with you? Think positively. Okay, I positively can't see a thing. Boy, are you ungrateful. And after all I've done to help you. What are the odds that you would go back to see this optometrist? How quickly do we attempt to prescribe solutions without first diagnosing the issue? This problem is running rampant in our societies today. Everyone is shouting their solutions from the rooftops without first attempting to truly understand the issues of those they're shouting at. Empathy is powerful. 
It makes you a better listener. It gives you a healthy dose of perspective. It fosters a clearer worldview. And yes, it will also make you a better web designer. Clients are coming to you because they don't know how to build a website themselves. Oftentimes, they don't even know what they want. They're not sure how to describe it. All they can offer are vague ideas and confusing interpretations. Are you going to diagnose the issue or jump ahead to a hastily drawn conclusion? 4. Emotional Intelligence You've heard of IQ, but do you know about EQ? EQ, or Emotional Intelligence, is defined as the capacity to be aware of, control, and express one's emotions, and to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. Empathy plays an important role in healthy emotional intelligence, but there's more to it. The true definition of EQ can be debated, but it's widely accepted that these are the five core principles that make up healthy emotional intelligence. Self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. The more that you manage each of these areas, the higher your emotional intelligence. Let's break these down a bit. Self-awareness. Know your strengths and, more importantly, your weaknesses. If you're self-aware, you know how your emotions and your actions can affect the people around you. Self-regulation. Personal accountability. A quality that is sorely lacking in our modern world. People who regulate themselves effectively don't verbally attack others, make rushed or emotional decisions, blame others for their shortcomings, or compromise their values. Motivation. Self-motivated individuals work consistently toward their goals, and they have extremely high standards for the quality of their work. If you can ensure your motivations don't rely on external factors outside your control, you'll be well on your way to a high EQ. Empathy. As discussed above, this is probably the most important quality of EQ. A person who possesses true empathy can put themselves in someone else's shoes to try to understand where they're coming from. And finally, social skills. A person who does well socially is a great communicator. They're able to handle hearing bad news, work well within teams, can calmly manage conflicts, and are eager to jump in and help when they can. 5. Patience. Between designing websites, building a business, and dealing with clients, there are many things that can go wrong. Overreacting to Photoshop crashing for the third time today, or using a passive-aggressive tone with a needy client, is a quick path to failure. And I can tell you from personal experience, people really appreciate it when you show patience. Oftentimes a prospect or client realizes when they are being a bit much, and this is the point where most other web designers would drop them. If you're willing to listen to them, try to understand the problem, and then work with them to solve it, you will easily stand out from all of the other lazy designers out there. Now, let's get to the techie side of being a great web designer. Now that you've got your foundational skills in place, it's time to develop the typical web designer skills. You know, the stuff you expected to see when you came here. But guess what? Nowhere in this list will you see anything resembling coding. HTML? Nope. CSS? Nada. JavaScript? <laughs> Please. And that's because you don't need to learn to code to become a great web designer. I can already hear the stampede of angry coding web designers on their way to fight me. 6. User Experience Design This is the number one technical skill you need to learn as a web designer. Hands down, ignore all the other stuff until you have this figured out. You need to understand how visitors interact with websites. In particular, it's important to learn the fundamentals of designing a website around the user. So, so many web designers get caught up in making something unique or artistic. While it's certainly important to build something visually attractive, doing so at the cost of UX is a huge mistake. For example, Let's say your website has a stunning and custom illustrative video as an introduction to the entire website. The video is about 30 seconds long and automatically appears regardless of what page your user lands on. Everyone you speak to universally agrees that the video is amazing. 
However, after taking a look at Google Analytics, you notice that the majority of your visitors actually quit the video after just six or seven seconds. It's clear that the majority of your visitors aren't interested in the video. What do you do now? Well, there are a number of reasons why this could be happening. One, visitors are not getting what they expected when they clicked on your link and leave immediately as a result. Two, the video does meet the needs of most of your visitors, but it loads too slowly, so people leave before it even starts playing. Or three, the video displays and loads wonderfully on desktop, but is cut off on mobile. Since most of your visitors happen to be on mobile devices, they get frustrated and leave. These are all user experience problems. When you encounter issues like this, you need to determine what the problem is, where it's coming from, then resolve it. There is one thing you certainly cannot do, which is leave the video up as is because you personally love it. I have personally had some blog posts that I was super proud of fail miserably. My user's needs and wants were clearly different than what I wanted to make. Are you going to put your user's experience above your own artistic expression? 7. CMS tool Ah yes, my favorite topic of all, the CMS, or Content Management System. A CMS is simply the tool you use to build your website. In the past, you had to know how to code if you wanted to build websites. That meant learning coding languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These days, that's no longer necessary. There are many coding-free, online-based CMSs to choose from. Some examples of popular online-based CMSs include WordPress, Shopify, Weebly, Squarespace, and Wix. Then you have more advanced CMSs like Drupal, Joomla, and Webflow. To choose the right web design tool for you, you need to consider 1. Your objective. Are you trying to qualify for a job or build your own business? 2. Your current abilities. Do you have a few years experience under your belt or are you a complete noob? And 3. Your patience level. How fast do you want to see results? How much time are you able to commit to learning? I was a complete noob when I started, so I began by using Weebly. As my skills gradually improved, I progressed to WordPress. There is no right or wrong choice. Just choose the tool that best fits your current situation and future goals. 8. Performance Optimization Surprised that I put performance optimization above SEO? The web is moving towards a performance first world. Your Google rankings will be dramatically affected based on your user experience and site performance. Google and your visitors love to watch for things like loading speeds, zero pop-ups of any kind, very few and unobtrusive ads, lots of unique visuals, videos, variety of different styling and formatting, easily viewable from any device, mobile first design. Think anyone wants to sit through 1500 words without any of this to liven it up? Think again. Just look at this video as an example. 9. Search engine optimization. Websites with no traffic are lonely places. It's like paying thousands of dollars to put up a billboard at the bottom of Mariana's Trench. With Google's algorithms constantly evolving, SEO is a never-ending game, one that gets more challenging every year. You need to constantly stay on top of it. It's astonishing to me how many people don't understand how Google works. Even if you're not planning on getting into web design, Google 101 should be taught in classrooms all over the world. This lack of understanding is a huge reason why we find ourselves in the era of fake news. It's also why so many people and companies have been able to manipulate the public for a quick buck. But that's a video for another time. For you, our intrepid web designer, you simply need to understand the basics of SEO so that you can implement it in your client sites. 10. Graphic Design I can hear you freaking out already. I have to learn graphic design on top of web design? Don't worry, you don't need to be a graphic designer. But you should most definitely learn the basics of graphic design. It will drastically improve your website designs. Get to know some of the amazing and often free graphic design tools available to you. 
You'll gain the ability to spice up all of your website's images, including stock photos, stock videos, vector icons, social media images, and YouTube thumbnails. Eventually, you can even branch out into logo design, something almost all small businesses need. So to wrap up, of course you're not supposed to view all of these skills as a linear journey, slowly developing one at a time. People don't work like that. You can develop all of these simultaneously if you want. But the foundational, personal, and people skills will always trump technical skill and ability, especially communication and emotional intelligence. I know so many people who are chock full of amazing technical skills, but lack the ability to effectively communicate with their prospects, understand and solve their problems, and display true patience for when things don't go 100% according to plan. So yes, always continue to sharpen your skills in web design, SEO, user experience, and the like. But don't forget about those core foundational skills. They will take you much, much further in life and in web design.